。现在是评审讲评时间，首先请麦杰斯教授上台讲评，请大家掌声欢迎。Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Uh, it's actually an honor to come here and uh, to be uh, invited by the organizers uh, of this contest. And uh, this is my third year here, and uh, every year it's an interesting experience. Uh, so, uh, however, you know, uh, sometimes the same mistakes are repeated <laughs> as they were in, in previous years, which I'm wondering of our feedback is getting to the teachers. So I'm going to have to talk, well, I'll have to talk about some of the bad news and talk about some of the good news. There's, there's good news and there's bad news. Which shall I talk about first? Bad news. Bad news, bad news. Bad news. Bad news. of, of bad course. News. Good, news. Yeah. good news first? What about both? How about both? Oh, well, okay, I'll, I'll talk about the bad news first, then the good news, okay. Uh, <clears throat> all right, well, sometimes, uh, you know, uh, sometimes you're, for example, uh, when you're, well, this is an acting experience, right? You're acting, right? Yeah. So when you're acting, you know, there's something called the, there, there's something called the natural method, okay? When you're acting, it's better to be natural, okay? Not over-exaggerated, not over-exaggerated, <laughs> right? Okay? Or, uh, you know, or, or, or too stiff. Some of you are too stiff, right? That's not natural to be so stiff. Maybe this is because you're nervous, I don't know. Right, could be nervous, stiff, ooh, scared. Ooh. Could be, but some of you are that, that way, okay? Uh, all right, some, some, some you know, of the performances are that way, okay? Uh, all right, uh, this is, this is I, discussed this before in previous years, uh, when you're acting, you're not, you know, an, a, on a stage performance, you're not directly looking at the audience. You're not standing there and directly talking to the audience. You're actually not even making eye contact with the audience. You are talking to each other. You're the actors and this is going on and this is if the audience doesn't exist, okay? but. The way, the way you're performing it, you're looking right at the audience, okay? But you shouldn't be doing that. You should be looking at each other and standing kind of at an angle. Now, sometimes you might be looking over the audience, right? In some situations, okay? So, you know, it depends on, on what you're doing in the performance, okay? Sometimes you might be looking over the audience, okay? Or sometimes, but, but you're looking directly at the audience, okay? And addressing the audience directly. Now, I guess if it's a new show, that makes sense, okay? Or you're, you're, it's a TV program and you're, you know, uh, you know, you're looking at the audience as a broadcaster, it makes sense to look at the audience. But when you're having a dramatic performance, you don't look at the audience, okay? So that's a mistake that I see repeated over and over again, okay? And then uh, this kind of exaggerated body language, okay? Well, sometimes overacting is a problem. Overacting, okay? So, you know, that's why you should try to use the natural method if you can, okay? And not overact, okay? But in some sometimes, uh, you know, if, if you're very emotional and you're really into your role, that could be good, okay? That could be very positive. I know in one performance, uh, one of the actresses, she's very emotional. The one, the one dealing with uh, the, uh, the, Viet the Vietnamese, uh, Vietnamese textile industry, right? The, her, her, role, her acting was very good. She wasn't overacting because her emotions were correct. They were really fit the situation, her emotions, okay? So I, I but in, in most cases, you're overacting, right? Instead of acting at the right, you know, the, uh, getting the right mood exactly, okay? All right, so that's a problem, okay? Uh, Gee, what else bad can I say? Hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, there are probably other things, but uh, maybe I should, I, should I go to the good things? Yeah, good. Sure. Let's get to the positive things. Okay. Well, first of all, you know, uh, I, I was impressed. I think what I was most impressed by was the creativity. I thought, I thought all almost most 90, 95 percent of the performances were pretty creative. 
Okay, so that was, you know, I was impressed by that. Oh, another negative thing, I gotta think of another negative. Okay, the, uh, you know, the stage scenery, right? You know, uh, in one, one situation, the stage scenery fell down. Remember that? Oh, well, that was a kind of a disaster, right? But, uh, you know, that, that means preparation is very important, right? Preparation is everything, right? In this kind of situation. So, don't let your materials fall down during the performance, right? Uh, how do you avoid that? Well, maybe you have to, you have to uh, prepare, you have to, you have to experiment with the materials before you perform, okay? A little bit, make sure everything's stable, right? Okay, uh, all right, That's a, that was another little problem. Okay, uh, yeah, anyway, creativity, wow, yeah, pretty creative, okay? And uh, problem solving, okay? I thought this is really, uh, this is really interesting. All the different problems the, the world has and all the innovative ways there are to solve these problems, okay? I like that, I like that, I thought that's, this is, this is, a, this is what education should be. Education should be problem solving. It should be the purpose of education, you know, to solve the problems we have. And we have a lot of problems in the world. And unfortunately, they're gonna continue, we're gonna continue to have problems, okay? And the world's getting more complicated, more complex all the time, okay? And you know, well, teenagers, hey, you're the future. You're gonna have to face these problems, okay? So, you know, you know innovation and innovative ways of solving problems is, you know, you know, this kind of exercise is, is a way of learning about innovative ways of solving problems, okay? Also, we, uh, you know, uh, you know, Taiwan, you know, uh, gee, I was kind of shocked some of these performances. Uh, you mean Taiwan will go to another country and exploit another country? <gasps> really? Like uh, in Vietnam, exploiting the, and, and polluting the environment? So this is like a kind of moral issue, right? So this is another kind of problem that we face in the world. We, 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 we face moral and ethical issues, okay? And, uh, you know, wh what, cause, what cause these moral problems? Well, some basic human, human emotions, like greed, right? Is, a, you know, what, ca what caused these problems, okay? So, is it good to be greedy? Well, you know, maybe it's not such a terrible thing to be greedy if you know, you're not hurting anybody, right? Okay, so maybe if you can channel your greed into a positive way, greed is okay. But if you can't channel it into a positive way and you're hurting other people, this is a problem, okay? But this is something I learned from watching your performances, right? So, you know, you're, you're, you're teaching, these performances, you're teaching us something, okay? So I think this is very positive, you know? It's a kind of learning experience, okay? For, all right, another, oh, well, an, uh, another problem you might have is some of you, you know, some of you are gonna probably be sad, right? Because your performance didn't quite, quite make the grade, right? You didn't, you didn't, uh, you know, succeed, right? And you were cut off, right? But, you know, this is a learning experience, right? And this is, this is the way life is. Life is full of disappointments, but, but these disappointments are only temporary. You learn from the, your, your disappointments and you, you, you adjust and you, you're flexible and uh, you can overcome, overcome them, okay? So, you know, I wouldn't worry too much about it or be too bitter <laughs> about it, okay? All right, uh, so that's, that's about it and, uh, okay. And uh, thank you for your efforts, okay? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you so much for inviting me to be uh, the judge today. And uh, this is my very first time, and it's my eye-opening ceremony. Uh, I should say namaste to greet you, or uh, sawadika. I learned a lot from you today. So it's my journey of learning today. And uh, I also uh, learned from the content of your drama. And I now know the Southbound policy much, much better. And all those details. And uh, today I was invited to so many countries. 
many South Asian countries, and, uh, and then you, you present different stories about these countries, and also stories in Taiwan, and those new residents kids, they are, what they have experienced in Taiwan, maybe they ex experience bullying, they have identity problem issues, and uh, then, then you, you brought it out. And, and, and I, what I think you, you have done best is that you have to swallow, study those information, and then convert them into script, and then put them on the stage. It's, it's a great job. It's not easy at all, right? And uh, uh, yeah, so, so that's the reason why I learned so much from you. Um, it's not, yeah, because I, I keep jotting down what kind of issues you are dealing with. So many of them uh, talk about ecological issues, environmental issues, and the pollution and f um, you know, fashion industry, things like that, and food, in uh, food making, right? You learn from each other and creating new food. And, uh, um, and, uh, and making new friendship, and to say that I also learned that you know, uh, our government uh, provides scholarship uh, for you know, those uh, students to come here to study, also for you, for you guys to go there to study, to have a good exchange. So these are all very you know, inspiring to me. And uh, um, so uh, Professor Max just said that uh, yeah, uh, about acting. Sometimes I wonder what kind of form you are presenting on the stage. Whether it is some kind of government policy propaganda or is uh, so some kind of policy uh, promotion, it's not drama at all. Yeah, other than the problems of shouting, overacting. Yeah, sometimes you know, I feel that you are just making a briefing to the audience, because you address to the audience and presenting uh, all what you know about those policies. And uh, so as judges, oh, we learn a lot, but you are not acting. So that, that's the problem. And also, and uh, uh, I think that happens to many groups. And uh, you, you will, yeah, sometimes you, you, sh you, you know, overact. Then at the end, the four actors will come to the front and shouting some slogan at the end. That's kind of unusual to me. Uh, as a drama teacher, I said, what's that? I is, it, is it a drama performance? Or it's, it's some kind of, yeah, propaganda. It's a propaganda. So, so we have to distinguish different forms of performance. Yeah, because I, I keep noticing what is the purpose of this kind of you know, presentation. It says that, Okay, so basically, this is a drama. It got to be original and creative. Yeah, and I, I do think that you are all very creative. You, know, you try to you know, see and study those problems and convert them into a script. That's very difficult, you know. Because you know, we know the problems are so many of them, and you can probably just deal one of them. You can cover all of them, or otherwise, you know, you might lose the focus, right? So uh, I I deeply appreciate your performance today, and I learned a lot from you. And uh, this is my journey, very rich journey of learning. Thank you so much.首先先谢谢今天辛苦一整天的参赛同学跟老师 入围的，嗯，我宣布的是今天比赛的队伍顺序，从小到大我会宣布，所以不是你们的名次哦，是队伍顺序。好，我来宣布入围的第一个队伍，序号第三号。哎，第三号的队伍不在吗？ 
好，第二个队伍，序号四号。第三个队伍，序号五号，对，开心一点。第四个队伍，序号七号。第五个队伍，序号十五号。呃，第六个队伍，序号十六号。第七个队伍，序号十七号。第八个队伍，序号十八号。第九个队伍，序号十九号。第十个队伍。序号二十一号，第十一个队伍，序号二十二号，第十二个队伍，序号二十四号，第十三个队伍，序号二十五号，第十四个队伍，序号二十六号。第十五个队伍序号二十七号，非常好。第十六个队伍序号二十八号，第十七个队伍序号三十一号，第十八个队伍序号三十二号。第十九个队伍，序号三十八号。第二十个队伍，序号四十号。第二十一个队伍，序号四十一号。那最后一个入围的队伍，序号四十四号。谢谢。那就是以上就是入围的二十二个队伍。